NATO leaders gather in Vilnius next week aiming to overcome divisions on Ukraine's push for a path to membership and end Turkey's bloc on Sweden joining the transatlantic military alliance. U.S. President Joe Biden, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, French President Emmanuel Macron and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will be among the 31 NATO leaders attending the summit in the small Baltic state. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is also expected to attend and to press for Ukraine to be admitted into NATO soon after the war triggered by Russia's invasion comes to an end. NATO is expected to present a package of support to Ukraine at the summit, including an upgraded cooperation body, the NATO-Ukraine Council, and a bundle of non-lethal military aid to help Kiev's armed forces to reform and reach NATO standards. Ukraine. For 500 days, Moscow has brought death and destruction to the heart of Europe, seeking to destroy Ukraine and divide uh, NATO. Our summit will send a clear message. NATO stands united and Russia's aggression will not pay. Second, we will upgrade our political ties. Uh, and then the most urgent uh, task, and all analysts agree on that, is that we will stand by Ukraine. We will provide support for, to Ukraine for as long as it takes, because unless Ukraine wins this war, there's no, no membership issue to be discussed at all. Someone і міцність альянсу, але тим не менш ми говоримо про чіткий сигнал, якісь конкретні речі у напрямку запрошення. Нам потрібна ця мотивація, нам потрібна чесність в наших відносинах. Here in Bucharest, we must make clear that NATO welcomes the aspirations of Georgia and Ukraine for their membership in NATO and offers them a clear path forward to meet that goal. It was a good meeting, it was a constructive meeting, and we made progress. And uh, I'm confident that we'll continue to make uh, progress, but uh, there are still gaps to be bridged.